House Bill 324 by Representative Hilferty to amend Title 17 student discipline to prohibit corporal punishment. Representative Hilferty on your bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, all House Bill 324 would do is prohibit the use of corporal punishment in our public schools. I'll take any questions. All right, we do have a question. Representative Bagley for a question. Representative, uh, I, I understand that this would stop any form of corporal punishment in any school, public school in the state. Not, and that would not affect private schools at all. Correct. And and that would increase, or that would include all the public schools in South Louisiana, and also in North Louisiana. It Correct? includes all, all public schools. Public schools. It would yes, include sir. all public schools. Yes, sir. And and you think it's okay to form rules for each individual parish that has its own sovereign governing body, and you're going to tell them what they how they're going to carry on their uh, discipline in their schools. Representative Bagley, I think what we do in this body is create laws for the entire state of Louisiana, and this is just another example of that. Well, I understand that, and we do do that, but when you go into to the, when you take over the acts of the superintendent and the, and the board in each parish, you're superseding them, and I don't think in this case it's a very good idea, and I'm not saying I'm for corporal punishment. I, I did spank my children when they were coming up. That doesn't mean I, I was for it. It's just something that was the way I was raised. But the, each individual school district should have the right, and they all have rules, the ones that do it. Not every, not every school does, district does it. I taught in schools that didn't. But every school district had, a, had rules set up. So we're already set, we already got rules to, um, to be sure that those are done properly. Why would you want to just say, no, we're not doing that anymore, when that, the schools have been doing it for years? Representative Bagley, we do not hit children in the juvenile detention system. Well, would we, you repeat that in here? We do not allow hitting children in the juvenile detention system. We do not allow hitting prisoners in our penal system. I don't understand why we allow hitting children in the K through 12 well, system. Well, if you did, if you had taught school like I did, you'd have to be able to answer that a little better because you don't really know what you're talking about about that. And t parents came to me and others and would tell us to please spank my child, he won't behave. I wouldn't do that because that wasn't part of the rule. Representative speak, Bagley, with all due member, respect. Members, let's be respectful. A majority uh, of our parishes do not use corporal punishment. So well, it is. I, I, I'm not arguing that. My, public, my argument is a, that we shouldn't do it anywhere. Let them make their own rules about that. Now, I apologize for being disrespectful. We just have a difference of opinions on this, uh, Representative yes, Bagley. We do. Thank you. All right, Representative McCormick for a question on the bill. Uh, yes, represent, Representative, hearing myself echo, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is the rules in, in school right now? Can, any, can the schools bank any child regardless of that they have the parent's permission or not? It varies parish by parish. Okay, so if, if, a, if a parent wants their child to be, uh, have corporal punishment in school, this intercedes their parental rights, is that correct? I think in some instances there's a parent opt-in. I don't know that that's the case in every parish. But under your bill, that will that be possible anymore? This bill would make it impermissible to... Do you think it's it, a good idea for the state to be taking, getting in the parental rights of children? I mean, my concern is next we'll be telling parents they can't discipline their children at, how, in, at their house. That is not at all what this bill is looking well, to do. I, I know that's not what that bill does, but it sets a dangerous precedent in my mind. But thank you. I appreciate you. Question on the bill, Representative Fermi. Uh, Rep. Hilferty, is corporal punishment already uh, banned in your parish? It is. Do you think this might be an issue where there's vast differences depending on where you live in the state? I think that is a good point, Representative Ferment, but I also know that we have rural parishes side by side where one uses corporal punishment and the other doesn't. So I don't think it's strictly an urban versus rural, North Louisiana versus South Louisiana issue. My wife is a public school teacher and a few minutes ago I uh, sent her a text message just asking her what she thought about this. 
and she just happened to be with the assistant principal at her school and another one of the teachers. And if you don't mind, I'll just read you their, their response. And uh, so my wife says, the state has our hands tied. Kids are disrespectful and defiant. There's absolutely nothing we can do to punish them that bothers them except spank them. The assistant principal says, many times it works on the young children when nothing else does. They may not understand suspension or detention, but they understand paddling. Then another 25 year teacher said, uh, when it was used in schools in the past, we don't have, we didn't have the problems we do now. So. Well, I would argue though, if they're currently using it in the schools and they're still having those problems that maybe we need to look at other methods. I greatly appreciate your wife's work in the classroom. Uh, but we, we have other parishes that are not using this. Right. I can tell you, uh, the prof school education professionals in my district would disagree with this bill, but I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Representative Ivey for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I, I can appreciate, you, you know, your intentions. Uh, you know, some parishes are, you know, further down uh, uh, the evolutionary process of uh, discipline action, disciplinary actions and others. Uh, some are more old school. So what, what are alternatives that are effective uh, for disciplining students who are unruly? What are the alternative options? Sure, I've spoken with some educators who have indicated, obviously this doesn't eliminate, and you look in the bill, it does not eliminate the other forms of punishment that are made available. Um, there's also positive reinforcement that I've spoken with some educators that they use. So I think- Positive reinforcement? Yeah, where they work with the child to say, every time you work through this class well or something, you get some sort of reward. Basically the carrot versus the do, do, is there been any research done or uh, analytics done within your own parish on the effectiveness of these al al alternative or more uh, advanced techniques? I mean, I can tell you ab about uh, paddling. The American Academy of Pediatrics has come out against this um, because of some of the harmful effects that it has on children. Happy to delve more into that yeah. research with uh, you. I got whipped a whole lot when I was a kid at school and, and look at me well, now. Well, I think, look, right? that is the perfect. So if you, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> Representative Ivy. I don't know if that helped or hurt. I don't know. Anyway, I, I appreciate uh, your intentions. Thank you. Uh, Representative Brown for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and Representative Hilferty. I think I voted against a similar bill a couple of years ago, but isn't there some concern, and I don't know if y'all have had any information on this, isn't there some of the concern on the unequal application of corporal punishment in schools, and that's one of the concerns? Uh, correct. Um, it is largely used against males. It is also uh, slightly predominantly used against African Americans. Okay, so is that some of the... Because I know statistics are gathered on those that uh, still use corporal punishment in their districts. So was some of that used into um, you authoring this bill? Yes, yes. And, and we do, the state does track reported incidents of corporal punishment within the schools. We had over 1,000 incidents last year occurring with over 700 children. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Representative Horton for a question. Oh, all right. Representative Hilferty waves questions. All right. Representative Hilferty moves final passage of the bill. All those in favor, of those opposed, vote nay. The clerk will open the machine. Members, vote your machines. Vote your machines, members. Stefanski. Seaball, no. Guyman, no. Nelson, yes. Marcel, yes. Duplessis, yes. You two voting members? All right, close them up. 47 yeas, 50 nays, and the bill fails to pass.